guys, ladies, guys, ladies, ladies, guys. If you don't stop letting that motherfucking nigga or that motherfucking bitch manipulate you, you better. Especially if y'all got a motherfucking kid or kids together. I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all go ahead and like this video. Y'all go ahead and like it. I'm going to give y'all a second. Go to the comment section. Pin up in the comment section. It's my TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook. Please go to my Instagram for sure and my TikTok and follow me. And like every video, every post, and I return the love. But with that said, I'm going to tell y'all some real nigga shit. And y'all going to think that I got a black heart, but it's not black. It's just stoic, man. I'm just being real. Listen, just because you have a baby with a female or just because you got a baby with a man don't mean that that's the one for you. Don't mean you got any control over this person. It just means that y'all fucked and made a motherfucking baby. And that's if it's yours any goddamn way. I'm talking to the people that absolutely know that that's their child because it's mama's baby and daddy's baby every fucking time. But I'm here to tell y'all, I done noticed something that I don't, I don't think a lot of people notice and I ain't heard no dating expert talk about this. Stop letting other people gangster ass decisions affect your life. Make that bitch stand on it. Make that nigga stand on it. Now, I'm going to talk from a man point of view, but I'm also going to bash these niggas. Now, listen, let me talk to y'all. I want y'all to pay me attention. This bitch decided 10 years ago after she had your baby that she wanted to move to a whole different state. Now, 10 years later, she's telling you you're not a good father. Bitch, you the one moved. I didn't. But a lot of you guys are stressed that. Ladies, you gave this man 10 years to get your child together to be a daddy. He decided to do everything else. He decided to go to prison. He decided to not be a daddy. But all of a sudden, he want to be a father. That child should say, fuck that nigga. You shouldn't put up with that bullshit. Fuck that shit. We all got decisions. He made that decision. Just because you want to come back after I'm married and I got me a family now? You want to stay time in prison? Take your jailbird ass home. This was a guy that stayed out of prison that got me. Men. Oh, shit, you caught her cheating. And you left her alone. And she's sitting there telling you, hey, motherfucker, you better watch the kids. Fuck you, I got a heart. Was you thinking about me watching the kids when you was sucking dick? When you was when you was swallowing his kids? Fuck that, we got a heart too? Fuck that shit. This bitch, do you know how you felt when this woman had the police to knock on your door? No damn well you smoke weed. This woman had the audacity to not even warn you. She sent child support on you. You on child support. And with that same tongue that she told child support your name and your address. You supposed to do what she say. Use a bitch ass sucker, nigga. If you pay child support, I don't care if you pay $50 or you pay $3,000 a month and you do whatever that bitch say. That's dumb. Once a woman take out child support on you, the only thing you got to do is pay that motherfucking child support. Anything you do from then on out is a motherfucking bonus. They'll tell you that down at the damn motherfucking DSS office or whatever the fuck you call that shit. I'm just being honest. Ladies, this guy been trying to rap for the last five years. This man ain't getting no views of shit. And you still investing your tax money in him thinking he going to flip it. He ain't going to flip it. The boy can't flip a motherfucking burger. Obviously, he been laying on his mama couch and he got three other baby mamas and they there alone or done got new men and you're going to try this guy out. You don't understand that this guy's a fucking failure. Y'all let other people's decisions fuck with y'all. So I'm going to tell y'all three fucking stories about the reason why I said fuck another person's decision. I don't give a fuck about another person's decision. Once y'all understand that you can't control anybody that you're dating, you can't control anybody that you're married to, you can't control nothing but your own self. And you is control is in control over how you feel. You have to become stoic. And I'm giving y'all game. Men, if you think this, anything other than this, and you's a fucking fool. And I mean this. A man is only as good as he worth. And it been like that before Christ. 
if that man got more donkeys than everybody, his horses is more stronger, then he could go marry 10 wives back then. Remember? Y'all remember how they used to go in different initiatives? Y'all know different races and say, y'all know how they used to go? Then it went from that to who got the most gold. Then they made some called currency. They had coins. Then after that, it's money. Now it's who got the most money. Now we finna leave money physically and go to who, who got the most in their bank account. You get what I'm saying? So guys, I'm just sitting here telling you guys, if you think these two things, you will always fail in life and never be successful. And if you become successful financially, don't mean you're successful in other things in life. So guys, if you letting a bitch use you when she already done fuck with you, then you's a dumbass. You understand me? Guys, if you're sitting back basing your decisions on another woman's decision that already shitted on you and you deserve everything you motherfucking getting, and I know y'all can feel what I'm saying. Ladies, if you let that guy do you like that, it's because you let him do you like that. Let him go to this bitch house. She wouldn't dare take that shit. You only getting this done to you because you are fucking allowing it. Put them bitches in the grave. Graveyard, grave diggers, put the bitches in the grave. Graveyard, grave diggers, put them bitches in the grave. I'm just being honest. So let me give y'all three scenarios, real, real three scenarios. Why I woke up and I said, fuck it to each and one of my baby mamas. And I don't give a fuck if they see it or not. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest now. Nah? Real shit. And I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Y'all, I ain't always been stoic. I ain't always been me. Girls always want to come back, or guys always want to come back, ladies, when you get successful. When you were staying with your mama, now that you got your own home, your own apartment, now this nigga want to come fuck up with Lord, what the Lord bless you with? Nah, we ain't letting that happen. Oh, you was broke before. Now you got some money. Now she want to come back. Nah, stay where you at. If you ain't help me rise to the top, Stay at the bottom or stay where you at, even if you make it to the top. You stay on your side, stay on my side. If you ain't help me get there, I ain't trying to. That's why you why, why y'all think celebrities, married celebrities and rich people get with rich people? Because only somebody that's on your level can understand what you got going on. A woman that's in the hood, bored all day, that got nothing to do, I never understand what a rich guy got going. You know what a girl that's successful gonna say to a rich man? Baby, call me when you get time. I know you was busy. Love you too. This is what a woman that has nothing going gonna say. You're cheating. You're a whore. You got a lot of whores, isn't that? Because they don't understand what being busy is. Because they're not busy. Ladies, if you done got successful, you working jobs, you going to school, you done got all this shit together and all this shit together. This nigga bitching because he's sitting there smoking with his homeboys, chilling with his guys all day. He see you steady rising and he want to put his hands on you and he want to get mad and keep bitch. This nigga is holding you down. Ladies and men, this is how it worked. Literally, you got some big ass, beautiful wings and all your life you've been letting niggas and bitches hold you down. And then it's always that one nigga or bitch that weigh more than anybody. It's usually baby daddy, baby mama, ex-husband. They just laying on you. They don't want you. They just don't want you to fly. But as soon as you like, uh, uh, get your wings up out that bitch, you take off, fuck them. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you. Baby mama, number one. I ain't even going to put them in order because I done forgot I don't give a fuck. Cool people. Our children are damn near grown. They are teenagers. I done called this woman several times. I want to come pick up my kids. My kids seem like... You know, you told them that they don't got to come, this and that. You mind if I get them? They do what they want to do. They want to do. I woke up to a text. Hey, spring break, can you keep the kids? I started to write back. But y'all know silence is everything stoic. You never regret what you don't say. How can you regret something you don't say? You wanted to tell your own mama, fuck you. But you didn't. How can you get sad or mad or call her and apologize for saying something that you ain't say? Come on, man. So I don't got to worry about did I say the right or wrong thing. I say nothing. And that's what lead people like, what the fuck is he thinking? What the fuck do we love his kid? Nah, it ain't that. It's just that I remember I stand on it. I make bitches stand on it. I keep telling y'all, make bitches and niggas stand on it. If that dude walked out your house and said, bitch, I don't need you, hoe, make him stand on it. I remember 
Our children is what, 15 and 13. I remember when they was three and five, I was begging this girl. I cried, don't leave me. Why are you leaving me? She said, because you don't got your shit together. I'm just tired of it. I'm just ready to go. Just leave me alone. I said, you're going to regret this one day. Now that I'm motherfucking lit, she keep texting me, talking about, get it. You regret this the bitch. It took 10 years, but bitch, you regretted it because every day that I grind, you won't there with me, ho. So fuck what you talking about. But for you can get an answer, you can look on my YouTube and get me paid. Since I pay so much child support, you can look at this video and get your answer. Would I watch them spring break? Fuck the fuck no, I won't. Because what happened the last time I tried to get them last spring break? You told me that they old enough to make their own fucking decisions. So if they say no, it's no. So until my kids call me and tell me that they want me to get them, then fuck no. Stand on it, bitch. You said you don't need me. You said I'm broke. I stay with my mama. Bitch, I don't stay with my mama no more. Now you're asking, ain't you, bitch? Fuck you, ho. Baby mama number two. I ain't found out this child was mine till the child was seven years old. I had no clue. She tested the whole goddamn block. Come to find out, somebody she tested was kin to me. Somebody else was kin to me. They put two and two together. This guy, oh, 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 she told me her excuse was she was promiscuous. All right. I went to court one time. She beat the shit out of my daughter. Went to court the next time. Her and my daughter done some crazy shit. I told them both, listen to me. I ain't got time to be back and forth to court. I'm not a police ass nigga. If y'all keep fighting on each other and doing stupid shit and not following these rules, they told you to go to a drug class, an abusive class, and a mental class. They told you to take your ass to school every day. But you choose to sit home and you choose to not go and do whatever you want to do. So y'all think I'm going to be in and out of court every day? Guess what? Sign the rights over to her grandma. You can have that. I ain't got time for that. Y'all call me cold hearted, but guess what? I'm going to die in peace. And you can't die in peace if you're broke. I'm going to die in peace when I die. That's all that matter. I don't got to please nobody but God. God don't mean for you to be stupid. I'm just giving y'all some free game. Baby number, baby mama number three. I ain't got nothing bad to say about her game. I'm just mad. It ain't got shit to do with her. I'm going to tell you why I'm mad. I'm going to tell you why I'm mad. I'm mad because... Our son shit costs more than a lot of other kids because my son is special. You understand what I'm saying? He's special to daddy. And I'm finna kick out a whole bunch of hundreds. And baby mama don't mean no home. Once a month, she need a couple of hundred for our son. And that's way worth it. But it always seemed like she always hit me up whenever I'm feeling the worst. I woke up, I got a headache. The first thing I thought was, God damn, fuck. I done missed about $300. Fuck. And then you look at your phone and you see, hey, don't forget to send that $350. You be like, oh my God. But, like I said, I ain't got nothing bad to say, but I can say this. This baby mama told me three years ago. Right now, we ain't working. I don't know if I want this. And I was in love. I begged her. This was three years ago, y'all. This is what made me stoic. If you go look at this channel, I started this channel three years ago. This is what really started the whole channel. So I thank her for breaking my heart. This girl loved me for so much that this girl spent every day with me. This was my best friend. This girl's my everything. One day she just popped up. I didn't cheat. I didn't do nothing wrong. She just popped up and told me that she just needed to explore her options. And it broke my heart, man. But I had learned from the first relationship, do not beg. Because guess who got me over the first relationship? She did. But she decided to go get a house. And her and her daddy paid it off. Then she decided to get a business. Her and her daddy paid it off. Then she decided to get another home on her own, which a man couldn't be there going through the situation she'd been through. So she made a choice to live a life without me. So now that 
I have my own home, my own cars. I got a big name, everything going. I ain't going to sit there and flex on her. She ain't intrigued by that. She don't care about that. But you think that don't make a difference? I'm just being honest. Like, I'm just being honest. And I'm trying to watch what I say because this is my homie now, but I'm just being honest. Um, when I was broke, this is when she told me this. But when we were buying each other Louis, Gucci, Versace, Dior, we was all cool. I went broke. <laughs> That's why I told you a man only as good as he can provide. So you guys right now are waking up and you women are waking up and you're feeling guilty about something that somebody else made a decision on. Never feel bad about a decision that somebody else had made. They made that decision for you. That's the reason why you don't let niggas in your house because the last couple of niggas shows you can't let niggas in your house. That's the reason why when this dude show a red flag, this woman running to get the fuck out of there because she's so used to that. She can see it. You can see it, man. You can see it. You can see it. Never bring the toxic shit from your ex to your next, but you ain't no fool. If you was dating a guy that got abusive every time you went out, and it started off with him yelling at you real loud. If the next guy yelling at you real loud, you need to get the fuck on out of there. I'm just being real. But I hope y'all understand this video. But I just had to drop it and let y'all know what we're real, man. Y'all have a blessed day. I holler, gang.